I am boss at home. You have come to the right place because this is the book reading, Copycat Marketing 101. How to Copycat Your Way to Wealth, Chapter 2, Book Reading. Now, I want to encourage any of you, if you have not watched Chapter 1 video or listened to it, go back and watch that video first and then come back and watch this video. I'm going to make sure I keep all these videos in this series in a nice, clean playlist so that you guys will not have any trouble finding this video and listening to this book read. This is a great book right here, you guys, because whether we realize it or not, each and every one of us out there are operating under the copycat system. It's just that we have decided to copycat the wrong people. This book right here is designed to bring awareness to the fact that we need to redirect our thoughts. We need to become a five percenter instead of a 95 percenter. But go back, make sure you watch every video in this playlist. Give every video a thumbs up. Also hit the bell for subscriptions. Here we go. Copycat Marketing 101, How to Copycat Your Way to Wealth chapter two okay we're going to start at chapter two the name of chapter two is what is true wealth chapter two what is true wealth if you have to tell people you're rich you ain't. I'm going to hit that one again. All these chapters start off with a quote. I repeat, if you have to tell people you're rich, you ain't. Joe E. Brown, comedian. Make sure you smash the like button if you like that one right there. What does it mean to be wealthy? I mean, truly wealthy. Certainly, the word wealth means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To me, wealth isn't just about being able to buy things, although that's a nice side benefit. To me, true wealth is synonymous with freedom. Here's my personal definition of wealth, and I think it pretty much captures the biggest benefits of wealth. Wealth is having enough money and enough time to do what you want, when you want. Do you think Bill Gates, who is worth billions, keeps his job as CEO of Microsoft because he has to or because he wants to? I think it's safe to say that Bill Gates has enough money and enough time to do what he wants when he wants, because Bill Gates has created true wealth, not just income. In a word, true wealth is freedom. Wealth means freedom to choose. Chuck Feeney is in the same financial league as Bill Gates. As the founder of hundreds of duty-free shops in airports all over the world, Feeney is worth billions. Or should I say he was worth billions. In 1984, Feeney donated 99.5% of his $3.5 billion fortune to a charitable foundation. Today, he is donating his time and his money to worthy causes all over the world. Both Bill Gates and Chuck Feeney understand that true wealth means having total freedom to choose how to spend your time and your money. Gates is choosing to spend his time creating more wealth, while Feeney is choosing to spend his time giving his fortune away. The common denominator that enables these two men to make two different choices is true wealth. Spend your time wisely. 
Most people think true wealth is having lots of money so you can buy material things. But the wisest people understand that true wealth isn't so much about buying more things as it is about having more time to do what you want to do. Mm. Think about it. When you are old and gray, sitting on the front porch of a nursing home, contemplating how you lived your life, what are you most likely to regret? Not buying a more expensive home or not spending more time with your kids when they were young? What are you most likely to regret? Not working around the clock for that promotion at the office? Or not spending more time with your parents and your friends when they needed you? Mm. Time is our most precious commodity. Far more precious than gold because once it's gone, you can never get it back. If you wreck your car, you can always buy another car. If you lose your job, you can always get another job. If you lose money in a bad investment, you can always make more money. But you can never, never get back the time you've lost or misspent, can you? Once it's gone, it's gone forever. An ancient Chinese proverb says it best. Better to throw all of your fortune down a deep well than to squander one moment of time. That's why I say true wealth is having enough money and enough time to do what you want when you want. Without a doubt, the biggest benefit of true wealth is having the freedom to choose how you spend your time. Income creation in the time for money trap. Have you ever known any hardworking doctors or lawyers who make upwards of $150,000 per year, but they feel trapped? Are they creating true wealth? According to my definition of wealth, the answer is no. Here's why. Here's why. Even though many highly paid professionals have the money to buy and do what they want, most do not have the time because they have to keep working at their jobs day in and day out. In effect, they have to work to create income so they can maintain their lifestyles. People who are locked into their jobs, no matter how much or how little they earn, are victims of income creation, not wealth creation. With income creation, you trade time for dollars which means you don't earn the money until you personally do the work. Whether it's garbage collecting, earning the minimum wage of $5.15 per hour, or a heart surgeon earning $5,000 per hour, income creation is still trading a unit of time for a unit of dollars. With income creation, 10 hours of work equals 10 hours of pay. Unfortunately, Income creation is an endless treadmill. That's why I call income creation the time for money trap. Worst of all, when the treadmill stops, the income stops, which means that workers who fall victim to illness or injury or long layoffs or burnout are income less. When the outgo equals the income. Let's take a look at a typical rich professional. Let's call him John Smith, MD, with an annual income of 150,000 per year. Now, by almost everyone's standard, 150,000 a year is a lot of money. But when highly paid professionals become dependent on their incomes to support their lifestyles, they become unwitting victims of the time for money trap. Slave to temporary income. As you can see, Dr. Smith lives a pretty nice lifestyle. We'd all love to have the money to join a swanky country club, to make expensive ski vacations in Colorado or leisurely cruises in the Caribbean. Sure, Dr. Smith may have a lifestyle 
most of us only dream about, but he's paying a dear, dear price for that lifestyle because he's mortgaged it with his freedom. You see, Dr. Smith has temporary income, but he does not have the freedom to come and go as he pleases. He's claimed he's chained to his job because he's become a slave to his lifestyle. Dr. Smith has to go to the office every day, whether he wants to or not. If Dr. Smith doesn't show up, he doesn't get paid. And if Dr. Smith doesn't get paid, neither does the mortgage or the car loans or the credit card bills or the tuition to private school. Is it any wonder that so many professionals fall victim to early heart attacks? An accident waiting to happen. Where would the high paid doctor be if he developed arthritis in his hands and can no longer create income because he had to stop working? More to the point, where would you be if you can no longer create income because you had to stop working? For most of us, that's the ultimate nightmare. That's the problem with income creation. It's temporary. If you stop working, the income stops too. And if you don't have any income stream other than your job, you're headed for disaster. According to Business Week magazine, it takes the average worker half his lifetime to purchase a home, accumulate some savings and retirement benefits. It takes about six months of unemployment to lose it all. Ooh. Freedom through residual income. Wouldn't it be great if you could enjoy all of the benefits of Dr. Smith lifestyle without the liability of having to go into work if you don't want to? That would be the ultimate dream come true, wouldn't it? Fortunately, there's another kind of income other than temporary income. It's called residual income. And unlike temporary income, residual income keeps earning money whether you show up to work or not. Residual income doesn't fall victim to the time for money trap because it is not dependent on trading time for dollars. To see how residual income is created, Let's look at another fictitious professional. We'll call him Joe Jones, CPA. Like Dr. Smith, Mr. Jones has a thriving practice. But unlike Dr. Smith, Mr. Jones fully understood the power of residual income. For the last 40 years of his prosperous career, Mr. Jones saved 10% of his gross income and invested it wisely. Now retired today, Mr. Jones has $1.5 million invested in mutual funds, earning 10% per year, which gives him residual income equivalent to Dr. Smith's temporary income, $150,000 per year. Even though the incomes are the same, what each man has to do to earn it is very different. As the chart below indicates, you can't see this chart right here. I'll hold it up. Maybe if you can see that. Maybe if you can uh, pause on that chart. Okay. Hit the like button if you've been hanging in here this long. Smash that like button. Cheating. I'm sorry. Now I ask you, which income would you prefer to receive? Temporary income or residual income? The answer is obvious. Creating true wealth. Wealth creation as opposed to income creation isn't limited by the time for money trap because of a concept called leverage. Go down below in the comment section and type in leverage. The only way to create true wealth is to leverage your time. 
money, and efforts so that 10 hours of work equals 100 hours of pay or even 1,000. You see, the rich get richer because they take advantage of leverage by investing their money over time. As I pointed out in my second book, you can't steal second with your foot on first. The typical millionaire earned his fortune by saving 20% of his income and investing it wisely for years and years. That's the way the rich get rich and stay rich, by putting their money to work for them by investing it over time. That's the big difference between income creation and wealth creation. Income creation is temporary. You have to do the work or you don't get the income. Wealth creation is permanent. You escape the time for money trap by putting your money and your time to work for you. Leveraging your time. Now, I understand that very few people make enough or are disciplined enough to do what Mr. Jones CPA did and leverage his monthly savings into a million and a half dollars. Fortunately, leveraging your money is not the only tried and true way to create true wealth. The other way to create true wealth is to leverage your time by investing it instead of wasting it. We've all used the expression, time is money. Haven't we? Haven't we? Well, due to the power of leverage, that axiom is truer today than ever before. It's obvious that we do not all have the same amount of money, but it's equally obvious that we all do have the same amount of time. Now, I want you to understand that this book is not about investing your money to create wealth. It's about investing your time to create wealth because time equals money when you invest it properly. It doesn't make any difference whether a person is a billionaire or a beggar. We all have access to the same amount of time, 24 hours in a day. 168 hours in a week, 672 hours in a month, 8,000 hours in a year. The key to wealth creation is not creating more time, which is impossible. The key is to take full advantage of the time we have. Wouldn't you agree? Fortunately for all of us, today there is a way to leverage some of our time, which we all have an equal amount of to create true wealth instead of leveraging our money, which most of us have very little of. Fortunately today, there is a leverage system where you can trade a little time for a lot of dollars. Fortunately today, there is a simple duplicatable system for leveraging your time and efforts that virtually anyone can copycat. <clears throat> Are you copying the wrong system? Hit that like button, you guys. If you've been hanging in here so far, hit that like button. Drop your comments down below. Are you copying the wrong system? Let's face it. Most of us weren't born with the last name of DuPont or Rockefeller. We aren't born geniuses like Bill Gates and Chuck Feeney. And we don't have the talent of Michael Jordan or Tom Cruise. All too often, we assume that wealth creation comes from winning the lottery of life. It's only meant for super talented people or super blessed people. But it's certainly not meant for average people like you and me. That's nonsense. We must not buy into that line of limited thinking. That's garbage thinking and we need to throw that kind of negative thinking out with the trash starting right now. The truth is that most people assume they can't create wealth when in fact they can. The real reason most people don't create true wealth is because they've never been made aware of a wealth creating system they can copy. 
In other words, most of us have bought into copycatting the wrong plan because we aren't aware of a wealth building model to copy. We copy what everyone else we know is doing. We take a job. We do what most people do. And as a result, we get what most people get. Not knocking jobs. Please understand that I am not knocking jobs. I'm knocking the results we get from working a job. If jobs created true wealth, I'd be the first person to tell you to follow the job track. But they don't. That's just the cold, hard reality of it all. Copycat exponential growth, not linear growth. Truth is, you will never create true wealth as long as you are copycatting the income creation system because it's based on linear growth as opposed to wealth creation, which is based on leveraged growth. Yes. In the next chapter, we will take a closer look at the limitations of linear growth and we'll discuss why we need to start copycatting leveraged systems. If we are sincere about camp, Becoming, I'm sorry, if we are sincere about becoming totally free by creating true wealth. Okay, that was the end of chapter two. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this reading, smash the like button. End of chapter two. This chapter was called What is True Wealth? If you would like to get your hands on this book for yourself, whether you want the paperback or the e-version or Kindle, there is a link below in the description where you can buy this book. This book right here is the truth. This book is amazing. This book will take anyone out there who wants to learn to make money online and it will give you the blueprint and the wherewithal that you'll understand copycatting. That's how you're gonna earn residual income. You don't wanna grow linearly. You want to use leverage to grow, okay? You guys, once we understand copycatting and you have to understand that you need to copycat the 5%, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you listen to this, watch this video as many times as you need to. Maybe you want this book for yourself. Link in the description. You can buy this book for yourself. Hit the bell for notifications. Smash the like button. I'm boss at home. Also, go in the comment section and let me know what you think about this. I'm out.